Hey, what's up, you guys? I've received quite a lot of emails and questions and comments on my YouTube channel about, um, you know, uploading an episode of Chasing the Sun, as I uploaded the first one on my channel and was subsequently struck with a cease and desist and copyright infringement from DSTV, which I guess is fair. But what I thought is maybe I could give you guys the next best thing. In this video, I'm going to explain a couple of ways how you could watch Chasing the Sun 2 if you're outside of South Africa. The first method is by using a VPN and subscribing to DSTV. So I'm going to go through it with you guys and then after that I'll show a second method. Okay, now the first question that begs to be asked is, are VPNs legal in South Africa? Yes, they are. Is it ethical to use a VPN? That's where it becomes a bit murky, but it's definitely not illegal. It's, it's probably just frowned upon. It's also illegal. It's not illegal, it's frowned upon, like masturbating on an airplane. All right, then out of the VPNs that are available, I looked at about 40 different ones. I ended up going with ExpressVPN, but Surfshark, CyberGhost, NordVPN, all of these are pretty good. Um, I only used ExpressVPN because it's the first one that came on my radar. If, you, if you're going to look at pricing, Molvad is, is the best. So what Molvad does is it gives you a straight fixed fee where you pay 5 euros a month, whether you use it for a year or a decade. Other VPNs like, for instance, ExpressVPN, they lure you in with signing up for a year contract and then it becomes cheaper per month, but that's a once-off fee that you have to pay. All right, so once you've subscribed to whichever VPN of choice, um, what you need to do then is connect, obviously, to South Africa. So I'm just going to show that I've now connected to ExpressVPN. I have Milvad installed too, but I'm not using that right now. So I'm connected to South Okay, there. Let's connect. All right, now I'm, con now I'm connected to South Africa. All right, the next step that you're going to want to do is subscribe to DSTV. So that means going to DSTV.com. This is going to cost you about 40 euros if, if you convert it from rands back to euros. So he has a breakdown of it. So it comes out to 800 Rand. So if you convert that, it's more or less 40, 40 euros, probably like $44, somewhere around that range. All right. And then after this, you're going to want to sign into DSTV stream. I've gone ahead and done this on my phone because I prefer watching uh, Chasing the Sun while I'm on the treadmill. So it makes it easy if it's on my phone already. So. Then I log into the DSTV stream app and yeah, then it's as simple as that. Now you'll see that it will start loading, but the problem is, is that it's not going to show the actual footage because DSTV has installed a, a blocker that you can't screen record. So you'll see that the ads play, but it's not going to show the actual chasing the sun footage until I switch off the screen recording. Method. So, I'm just showing you guys a print screen of where you need to go and what you need to do. This method is, it's yeah, it's on the, the not so up and up. So, if I'm not going to put any links or anything in the video, but if you can follow the red line, you should be able to find your way there. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's that. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and. Good luck. I highly recommend watching this documentary. It's truly one of the best, I think, in sports that's been made in a very long time.